This video will cover the commissioning of the Minarch EnviroLab toilet. For the first step, you'll need a 7 16 wrench and a flathead screwdriver. We're going to remove the bolts for securing the door and disengage the locking mechanism on the door. I'll demonstrate this now. Next, we'll open the chemical storage and take, remove the deck plate cover so we can fill the tank. Remove the deck plate cover and insert a hose to begin to fill the waste tank. Add water until the lower level on the sight glass is reached. Do not fill past the lower level. Note, water must have a pH level between 5.5 and 9.5 and be chlorine free. Next, we will add the Envirozyme chemical to the waste tank. This, the amount will depend on the model. For a compact model, we'll use a quarter bottle for a standard model, we'll use a half bottle, and for a dual model, we will use a full bottle into the waste tank. Shut off the water, remove your filling hose, and reinstall the deck plate. Connect the mine's water to the external water supply ball valve and open the ball valve to allow the flushing tank to fill. The flushing tank has a float that will automatically shut off the water supply when full. If no external water supply, remove the deck plate cover on the flushing tank and fill the flushing tank with water until it's full. Ensure that the sink supply ball valve is in the open position. Connect the mine's AC power to the EnviroLab toilet. After the power is connected, turn on the mains breaker. Ensure that you hear the blower start up. Test the lights. Install a gallon of Envirozyme chemical onto the holder. Secure with the Velcro strap that's provided. Remove the lid from the Envirozyme chemical. Remove the seal. And install the Venturi into the gallon jug. Secure it with the lid. To prime the system, ensure the ball valve on your Venturi is facing down or opened in the maximum flow position. Lift the lid of the toilet and prime the Venturi by pressing the toilet pedestal down fully until the water turns blue. Once the unit has been primed, Adjust the Venturi metering valve back to a 45 degree angle. To ensure the Venturi remains primed, flush the toilet for approximately 10 seconds and ensure that the water remains blue. Using the key provided, install the toilet paper roll into the holder. Ensure that the sink is functioning and draining correctly. 
using the key, press in on the top of the soap dispenser until it releases, open it, and fill it with EnviroWash hand soap. Ensure you're using EnviroWash hand soap as using conventional hand soap could stop the decomposition process of the waste tank. Ensure the drain flow diverter ball valve is in the desired position. The handle to the right will drain to the waste tank. The handle to the top will drain to the external. There is instructions provided on the chemical storage door that explains this. For further instructions on commissioning the EnviroLav, see the Operating Procedures Manual on the Chemical Storage Door.